And so the heat demands our immediate attention. You're not going to get away with it. It's there for everybody to understand. And you need to do something about it. So just about understanding your actions can make a huge difference already on what you're about to do. It's not just about talking or listening. This is about the action that we now need to see across society, across industry, and basically it's a matter of survival that we're talking about. I think for me the first thing is, is, is a behaviour, is don't wait for the government to revise the climate action plan before you do something. This is for us to do. The second thing I would say is drive a message to your team and send a very early signal that this is something you care about because this is so important to your teams to see that you're doing the right thing. The other thing I would say is specifying. For those that are involved in the specification side, so whether you be on the customer side, whether you be on the consultant side, start to change the game in specifications. Start to up the game and think about when you're writing a specification, what does it actually mean in terms of carbon and, and understand what it means. Most of you are senior industry players. And so the decisions you make in your organizations can have a direct impact on our ability to make a change. And so we all need to take action before we're called out and we start having the satellites and people zooming in on us in terms of how we're performing in our industry, in our sector. I recommend all of you, the leaders of the industry here, adopt design for sustainability, safety, and productivity from the very beginning stage of each and every construction project. Adopt MI Infinity approach throughout the asset life cycle. Adopt CDE to monitor the project and data analytically in order to generate a circular economy and to ensure your project will achieve the three zero strategy, namely zero waste to landfill, so waste to energy and so waste of resources. Could you advise us then, how can we align with the youth I mean, on to this green and sustainable journey? If you don't do it, they won't come to you. As a business, if you are not doing the right thing with regard to sustainability, young people won't come and work in your organisation because they care so much. Too hot to bear, time to act. Yet but how long? This is our climate, this is our city, this is our industry, this is our duty. This is not somebody else's problem. This is a problem and this is an opportunity that we need to deal with. The people in this room are responsible for making this happen. If we don't do it, don't be expecting somebody else to do it for you. This is down to us.